with any luck, we'll be getting to a point where we add another town soon. Or at least another checkpoint. I haven't decided on it yet, but I'm thinking about recording some Fallout, just because I've tried to in the past, but I always end up with some buggy setup that makes it less than enjoyable. And honestly, it's been a few months. I don't like Fallout 4 as much as some of the other entries in the franchise. I like it more than Fallout 1, which I know a lot of people will take personally. It's just from a approachability standpoint. I don't consider Fallout 1 very easy to get into. My favorite's New Vegas. But eh, I have to put in well in probably thousand 2,000 hours almost into that you kinda you kinda feel like you've seen everything really that's part of why I don't care as much for 4 as I do for some of the other ones is they expect you to make the things you're finding, it feels like. Like from the offset, it doesn't really come across like uh, you were ever meant to come across anything of particular significance outside of the DLC. Everything's kind of random. And the stories themselves ain't all much to talk about. Well, there's plenty to talk about, but it ain't, uh... It's a divisive story. Some people really like it, some people don't. It's got a lot of flaws, all of them do. And, yeah, I don't know, I've just kind of learned that it's best not to take these things too seriously. Staff of the Magi. Huh. That's kind of garbage, isn't it? Comparatively speaking, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, the staff I'm using is a much rarer staff, so it'd be weird if it wasn't better. But I'm pretty sure I was using staffs better than that before I found my first blue one. Centaur Heroes Panos, Lord of the Briarwood. What a name. P 
Panos. It's like a Marvel villain, no? I know that's a uh, Thanos, not Panos. It's an Infinity War coming out soon, yeah? Or did it already? It probably already did. I don't keep up with these things all that well. Haven't seen one since Thor 2. Look at all these pretty skilly men. With their fancy statues. I guess this isn't the swamp they were referring to. This feels like it'd be leading into a... Uh, some kind of... boss room, don't it? It's just like a clear path from that. Yeah, I get that it's a graveyard. So it makes sense, but... I don't know, it just feels kind of out of place. Is there really nothing else to that swamp? I don't like these quests piling up like they've been. If anyone's uh, gone through this and knows where the heck that is, I'd appreciate the knowledge. Outriders as in what I'm wearing. Mine's there for uh, me. Ding, ding, ding. Soon, my outsider friend. We shall become very well acquainted. Hmm. Hey, Shaders. I haven't seen too many of them lately. I mean, comparatively speaking, they used to be all over the place, just Seder, Seder, Seder. And now there's a lot more variety. I wonder why they're burning all this. Looks like their own encampment. I'm assuming that red claw kind of deals them and not some kind of 
human faction. Maybe it's wrong to assume that. Hmm. Maybe if I head north long enough, I'll uh, meet up with that area. Probably not. The uh, beam has a tendency of walling things off. Or mountaining things off, I guess. Still, it begs the question. The Bone Lord. Skeletal hero. The Bone Lord. You can't defeat me, Bone Lord. I shall conquer you and take your bone throne. Already? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I think I'm going to get out for now. So, next time I head up in here, it might not be the same group of folks. Have yourself a good one.